How many times have I told you not to stay in this dark room? And how many times have I told you not to bother me while I'm working? <laughs> okay, mother, I'll open the window. Anyway, what should we do now that Samson is gone? Send the pigeon to Sir Zotil and tell him to stop his advance on Gorha until we can assign a new commander to Samson's squad. Got it. Also, what about Samson's son? I'll break the news to him myself. That child's already been through a lot. It's a shame that he's now lost both parents to these Imperial bastards. But rest assured, the fall of Katsuragi is within our grasp. A new era is upon us. Take a right over here, and it should not be long until we hit the main road. Okay, got it. Looks like my hand is back to normal. Maybe I was just seeing things. Hey Hector, what were you guys doing out here in the first place? I was pretending to be a turncoat to gather information on rebel troop movements. I knew Samson before the war, so I used it as my way in. Two days ago. I have grown disillusioned with the leadership of King Katz II and wish to defect to the side of King Inisaka, your old friend, Hector. <sighs> Bring him in. I had planned on staying undercover for a few months. Your quarters. Enter. But on day two, Samson himself called me into his tent for questioning. Let's get down to business. But first, from your letter, you seem to completely misunderstand who Inusaka is. He is no king. He wants to create a- We are under attack. Shit. Stay here. But at the same time, a group of elvish brigands attacked and tried to loot the camp. I knew I should have listened to Samson and stayed put inside the tent while they fought. But I could not resist that wall of files. <sighs> Hastily, I went through the files and I found something horrible. A detailed plan for a two-pronged attack on the capital. And it's dated a week from now. <laughs> I knew I had to take these documents back to the capital immediately, so I ran. We drove them away. Are you alright in here, Hector? <laughs> I had left Mulan under the care of an old associate in a nearby village. We had not seen each other in years, but we were like family. Get this little shit out of my house, and don't contact me again. Once I picked her up, we made our way to the capital. When we were attacked by Samson alone, Moan hid in the grass, then we fought. After we had lost, that's when you rolled up inside this magic carriage and saved us. Hector, if that Samson guy was such an important person, why'd he follow us alone? Hmm, it seemed like he just wanted to get the documents and let us go. He had several chances to kill us, so maybe he... Okay, that is enough. I told you this is not a game. That man is dead. Now I want to know what is really going on here. Look out! Where did that boy go? I have no idea. Well, if no one's hurt, we should keep going. The capital's not that far. Yeah, let's go. Apocalypse Systems. Welcome, user Psy. You have new notifications. An unknown subject entered fantasy land. An unknown subject entered fantasy land. Subject Epsilon entered fantasy land. Hello. I'm seeing more anomalies in the void box. We may have to delay the book train world to slip again. What is it this time? More dilation issues? No, that's actually been working at 90% efficiency ever since Zeta implemented his new void manipulation system. Did I tell you about it? The system uses between world wavelengths in a very creative way for better control over the dilation effects. Get back on topic. You know I'm not a technical person. Why is the slip delayed? 
I detected three unauthorized slips into the void box. One of them was Upsilon. Upsilon? He's alive? Why has he not contacted us? We were able to track his location. He was not inside long enough, giggity, for me to track his chip, but it's safe to assume that he's either been captured or has betrayed us. What about the other two? One of them left around the same time as Y, the other is still inside. But it will be nearly impossible to track them because they're not chipped. So for now we have to observe and hope they manipulate the void again. Wasn't there another unauthorized slip last week? How did you deal with that? I just sped up the dilation speed and waited for the person to die or leave. Fifty years have passed in the void box and that profile comes up as deceased. But I think it was a mistake to let that happen. Things are really strange now. The slimelings invaded and took over half of the elvish territory. There is a new royal dynasty in the human kingdom that appeared out of nowhere and the humans are in a civil war now because of it. Because of that, I don't think it's wise to speed up the world again to remove this intruder. I don't care what you have to do, just get that person out of there, we can't risk outside interference. Heck, why don't you use the Grand Priest to your advantage to flush them out? Just do whatever it takes, Omega will not be happy if we have to delay again. Got it, I'll get to it then, I'll keep you updated. So, Conrad, you returned to us, but in what capacity, I wonder? So that's a mystery for another day. For now, let's make our new friend show himself. And while I'm at it, I can fix the damn wiring in here. Hey, we're almost there! This carriage is amazing! We've made it in record time! Good for you. Just a few more moments, and I can put this all behind me. Damn, I still need to report the body to the police. This is gonna be a long day. Ugh, here we are. What the hell is that? Have you never been to the capital before? Well, in that case, welcome to Gorha, capital of the Katsuragi Empire. Where the hell am I? The end of the chapter two motion comic. Hope you enjoyed and be on the lookout for the next one. If you really want to know what happens next, go to my website, thebetweenworlds.net, which will be linked in the about page of my channel or in the description below. Over there, you'll be able to read the non-audiobook versions, which are already completed up to chapter 4. If you really enjoyed, please consider joining my Discord, which will be linked in the same two places, the about page of my channel and the description. And if you really, really enjoyed, please consider leaving a tip on my Patreon. Otherwise, see you next time. And I think it's time for me to start drawing again because I spent the last months trying to improve my art style. So expect new original content soon. And by soon, I mean like two to four months because I, I'm really slow at drawing. Okay, I'll stop rambling now. Goodbye.